All right, now, Oz here, and I got something else to whoop on you. Some more data cleansing and something that I haven't done before in a video. We are going to take data out of Word and bring it into Excel. This happened to me this week. I got a call out of the past, and somebody said, Oz, crap data is beating us. We're miserable. Can you help us? And here is the issue that they faced. Here's a Word document. And they said, we don't care about this text. We want this table data. That's all we want. And we want these columns. And now look, Todd here. Todd has two cities in one cell. Okay. Do you want those broken apart? No, we don't even care about the city, but we want to just keep the data. We want to keep that column. So we want New York and Boston to stay in the same cell. First thought is to just copy and paste this table into Excel. Copy, go to Excel, and paste it. And look what happens. Boston winds up in its own cell. It's separated. We could move it, but look what's happening. There's another table. And another table. And look, Sylvester has four cities. So when you have a lot of different tables and a bunch of different documents, we don't want to go back and fix these things. First, we got to find them. So Sylvester has four. Janine has three. Nick has none. Karen has none. Andy has four. So how am I going to do this? I didn't know how I was going to do it. And the various things that I tried, I tried Power Query. And what did Power Query do? Power Query wanted me to turn it into text. And when I turn this kind of a document into text, things start moving around. They get smashed together. Data winds up being in big blocks instead of the nice columns that we have. So that wasn't going to work. This is what worked. All right, now pull up my sleeves here. Here we go. I'm back in the Word document. And I'm going to click here and I'm going to go to select, select all and go to find and replace. And I have to replace the paragraph break, right? So there is the carrot and lowercase p. And I'm going to replace it with something that likely does not exist in the document. So I replaced it with four Z's. Here we go. Four Z's replace all. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Close. Now check this out. New York, ZZZZ, Boston. And we've got eight Z's up here. All right. Good stuff. Right click. Copy. Go to Excel. Here we go. Right click and paste. Now, I want to replace these Z's and I need to be careful because if I just delete the Z's, then I would wind up with New York smacked right up against Boston. I don't want that. If I replace them with a space, then if we ever did want to separate these cities, that could be hard. Because if we had new space York space Boston, we'd have a hard time peeling it out, especially when we get down to salt space, lake space city. Tough thing to do. So here was what I am going to do. I am going to replace the four Z's with a double pipe symbol. Here we go. Home. Place the four Z's 
do space, double pipe symbol, space, replace all, okay, close, all right, so if we ever did want to separate New York and Boston, we have this double pipe symbol as a delimiter. Let's get rid of these blocks of text that we never needed. Excellent. Put favorite color up here. Let's sort by age, data, and I'm gonna sort largest to smallest. Age gets to be on top here. Delete these two. Ha! Now we've got all of our data in one place, and the trick of Getting that data out of Word and into Excel so that it's usable, minimizing our cleanup, was that carrot P. You got that? All right. Thanks for checking out this video. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and let me know if there's any other data cleansing tips that you need. Anything that you've had to do, something that's weird that you wondered, is there an easy way? Something easier than me spending my day dragging sales around and eyeballing and scrolling. Now, you can stop that, all right? See you next time. Now, here is where I do the cross join. Now, a cross join is where you match two data sets. Match everything in set one with everything in set two.